Konnichiwa, fellow railroad empire deaths. Fans, Namai wa Gamer 17, no, Namai wa Gamer 1745 desu. Wakarimashita ka? Ah, that's the best I can do from remember from my three years of Japanese. Way back in high school, a long, long time ago. No, I do not speak it very well. Hello, hello everyone. As I said, this is Gamer1745 here. Now, I'm so glad that they finally got, and it took them a while, but they finally got the DLC, or they got the patch out for the Japan, Japan DLC for Railway Empire. Um, there were several issues. The big one was um, with some stations and it starts happening is railway passengers don't seem you know, constantly unload and never stop unloading. That, I believe, is fixed. We are continuing with the save game. I hope that is going to be compatible going forward with the new patch. So you want to make sure your game is updated to um, the latest patch. Right. Okay. Now, um, we're not going to worry about this just yet. Tasks. We are going to be starting the next set of four tasks to complete. Um, connect. The touristic site in the area of Hokuriku, and that is here, Ona Castle. We need to connect Tokyo to Kyoto. Yeah. Tokyo. Yokohama, that's where the big naval, primary Japan, Japanese naval base is again for World War II type fans. And there's Kyoto, so we're going to have to come down through here, deal with the local railway company there. And transport 50 passengers between um, Tokyo and Kyoto in a quarter, you know, one quarter of a year. So that same year or by that time, we have plenty of time to do all this because we are moving pretty quickly through. And by 1880, make sure your routes have an average popularity of 115%. Okay, so um, I'm presuming routes popularity is with um, transport passengers between cities and not ones going to the um, in warehouses. And the way to achieve that will be... Um, We can add in um, ticket, guess, ticket revenue. Doesn't it help popularity? I guess not. Um, which, well, I guess would mean re reducing. That dining car would help with popularity. Um, but if it doesn't, well, then it doesn't. The other way, of course, to do it is to. Um, lower the um, cost here to get to achieve that popularity right now. Okay, I have uh, 284,000 yen, and we need to get to here first, eventually down to here. This is the next area we need to get to. Now, as you can well see, we have nowhere near the money to do that yet. But again, we have plenty of time. So, um, yeah, that is out. That's why we've been sort of, I'm going to, once we get into this space, probably connect through here. Mm -hmm. To get down to Kyoto, hopefully be able to get that thing there. Now, so we could just almost literally just keep sitting on this as it is, but I want to develop things a little bit to increase income. They're losing population because there's no octopus or the octopus, no sake no rice there well we do we have enough um yes we currently have enough uh soybeans for the soy sauce 
that would be um, uh, no. So no, look, that isn't the race. Race is down here. Race is up here. Right. The sake would come from. Hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe we want to put a sake over here. Okay. Well, okay. That's sort of jammed up at the moment. So what we'll do here is put in a run here. Down in Yokohama, we will emphasize sake to keep that going. Um, yeah, I think it'll be enough tractor power for our sake tree. Uh, keep that now. Warehouse, warehouse, warehouse. Right. Would it come about as direct as practical? Try to keep the mm, Um, yeah, I think we'll do that because if we're going to build another one to get some of this inside, we'll put it on this side of the town, uh, the railway, and the town, and whatever to do that to cover that side. Ooh, not enough. Okay, well, we'll wait. Let's just make this hopefully it'll be shortly. Yeah, well, they're taking out soy sauce. Good. Um, engineer and conductor. Okay, well. And then we'll see what we can we do. Okay, mail. We're carrying a fair amount of mail, so that will help with when you come along there. Okay, yeah, there we go. Money required to build this out. I will admit I do have a problem with the idea of just sort of sitting around and waiting for the money in the bank to grow. It can be done. I like to continue to de develop because I guess I, it's what I find one of the sort of charms of this game is trying to develop a system that works cool, works well. It was set up. Right. Okay. Now we're going to accept rice. And we're going to do something like that. And then we're going to use that one for hauling our rice. What, 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 what? Did I mess this up? Salt! Oh, this is salt. That's rice. That is not in the correct area. Damn! Okay, well. Ugh. Okay, my tutorial here is falling apart on me. Um, okay, we're going to, before this goes anywhere, we're going to dump it for basically all of our money back. Uh, that is soybeans, and we need soy coming to here anyways. So, we're probably getting a wagon. Why don't we make that? Okay, so we're going to leave that there. What we and we have other soy over here too. And then we have our salt down here. I mean, our salt, but 
or rice confirm yes rice i just saw that that looked like a bowl of rice to me i just jumped back into playing this as you can probably tell from not playing it for a while because of the bug with the the train unloading bug we can call it let's see let's try to come There we go. That looks pretty good. It's going to take a bunch of our money that we currently have. Yeah, and we'll wait. Let's set up this, though. Before we actually and yes, I know we may also get, get soy from down here, but we can get soy from multiple sources. Far enough back. I want that. I guess I could probably also get soy from here as well. Instead of having two trains running from a single source, we'll do trains coming from multiple sources. To feed it soy and to feed it rice. First, we're going to go with rice. We come to here. There we go. That looks like it'll work well. They need cloth. They make cloth up here. They've got plenty of plant fiber. We don't have nearly enough to increase production. Well, what is our current output of cloth? Okay, well, we have a modest amount of extra cloth there. Okay, and we also presumably cloth in here. No, nope, not enough here either. Noodles and cloth. Good. Okay, let's send green from up here, down here, to get rice, because there's one going the other way already, I know. But that way we'll have two flowing back and forth. And another green bringing in soy from there. And we'll choke it full of soy. Okay, and they would like lumber and octopus. It's way over there. Or way down here. Okay, well, they're down here. That ain't bad. All right, okay, so let's tell the warehouse you want to accept octopus and possibly other fish as well.
Okay, and that's the source. I needed to, and I didn't. So let's some signals along here. And um, let's put in a supply tower right about here. And uh, waiting and clearing after, before and after the supply tower, depending on the route that you're taking. Put another train coming down here to get more octopus. No, we're not. But we're not investing in cleared areas at the moment. Yeah, we will invest in doing that because we could use more more cloth for both of these towns and probably other one, one including up there. So yeah, there's cloth and demand everywhere. This here is silk, so they need silk and paints. Right. Okay, there's your silk. Paints, I think, is something that is produced. Yeah, like I said earlier in this episode, I have not been playing for a while. Uh, so, okay, it's a fairly... Uh, right, okay. Um, okay, well, here... Okay, here is where... Okay, we do have paint in production here already. Um, what they need is sake to do that. All right, okay, good, sake. Make sure there is enough sake coming out of Yokohama. Prioritize. And sake train, hopefully. Well, not that big of a sake train, but... Okay, this is our current fast train in Express. Mixed at 48. This baseline. Only slightly better, so uh, that I'm not worried about here. Um, down, but a really good for heavy freight up and down through mountains or whatever. Um, 55, okay, yeah, we've already sort of bypassed this. It has a little more tractive power. Fifty. Fifty one and thirty. Okay, well, they're yeah, reducing purchase price. That's good. What would we want being built there? Still sort of watching that, but time is uh, plenty of time. Okay, we could do plum one. We could go with steel. We have coal there. Where is our iron? Up there. That isn't too far away. I think we would have to go with a new, yeah. A new big warehouse. But we 
we could do that to make that work. Um, the tool makers, lumber, where would the, well, I don't know where we would do that. I don't know, steels are looking pretty good here. Just because of the coal being right there. Okay, well, if we can afford it shortly, okay, well, else, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's put the tool makers maybe down in your compartment. We don't want to put it out there because that is where we will bring another warehouse. Yeah, sort of a little too center of townish. Yeah, I don't think we'll be needing to build anything specifically out there. This way, Tokyo continues to grow. See the mix of uh, Japanese and Western architecture. Actually, quite what it looked like back then. A mix like that. Okay, they're growing now. They're getting some of what they need. To grow. And these guys are growing out here. You could use wood. Yeah, yeah, okay, they're getting almost enough. What's there? Okay, got. It. Thousand. Okay. They need more soy and lumber, but soy we should have fairly easy on this track set system. No, it doesn't look like it's fairly easy. Okay, well, we can do through that. Just checking. We have lumber back over there. Right, okay, soy we'll add, and lumber. What's your path? Okay, right to there. The warehouse, okay. Oh, uh, I see a problem. Uh, one problem. Here we go. 
that's an improvement. And we'll just put hopefully right about there's a good spot to get that done now. Yes. So we're going to load up lumber here. Bring it to you. To Yokohama. Okay, it decided to bring salt. Um, or what? No, rice. Okay, rice fine for its sake. Let's get another train then, and this one we're going to prioritize lumber. As soon as that one carrying the rice. Oh, we got lumber coming here as well. We already have rice closer in hand. Um, but okay. But we're not full of it here. We have plenty there. We need to invest and keep. Coming down from here, what we want to do is mount to here like this. Yeah, let's, let's start over. Okay. And it doesn't like that little jog. Okay, well then we'll get rid of that. Well, what if we just do it like that? There we go. That's pretty smooth. Okay, that will put soy into here. Reciprocal. We can come up there. Also pick up soil. That should help this place grow, Yokohama. Now with a game like um, Rail Empire here, you definitely, and I, I know we've, we've gone a good chunk of a year from now, and not focused on the expanding elements there to meet our goals, but sort of the back infrastructure back here is helpful to get this working well and making your income, making the cities grow, that will mean passengers coming back and forth through here. Okay, now what we're going to do here is just before, now that we have that, let's come in here. Let's, okay, we need to go with the big warehouse. Thought we probably would. Well, let's come right about like that, I think. Can we do this? Yeah, it looks like we can. And then, of course, we'll add this because it's free. Now, what we're going to do, come over here and specify. Now we're going to here to here. Um, we're actually going to specify priority full. So I may switch the rice delivery to this other warehouse as well. And we will put in our 
Let me holler. Now, this has become a bottleneck here. You see trains waiting. So what we're going to do is expand it. Still may be a bit of a bottleneck, but not as bad a bottleneck. We have a lot of trains that are purely going through, which does take up railway yard space, if you will, briefly going through, but it doesn't take the time of loading or unloading. Now, we all these are receiving warehouses, so they are no loading times. So with that, you can see we're very quickly clearing out this traffic jam there. Okay. Um, we're left to put signals here. Let's just do this right now. And now we'll put some signals in. There we go. It's appropriate. That will also help clear out the log jam up there. That way, if we have something over here and we want to get it out or whatever, we can just go straight through there. Soy to Tokyo or something. Right, well, dark green chicken complete this side of the mountain. Oh, almost not quite. So, the train station here, I want to connect. Oh. Okay. Hear this. Like that. Now the steep pit is downhill for when we're going to be, be with a full um, train, you know, train load of iron. So that shouldn't be too big of a problem. Actually, in real life, it sort of is because it would mean almost entire breaking down, you know, breaking down the, the path there. And that can be a very big problem. But I don't think that matters, the downward element, the wear on the brakes. Okay, now here at Tokyo, we're going to use our last slot on this warehouse for the iron. And this way we can get iron coming down. And we'll put one heading up. Okay, well, again, remember, connect to 
a touristic site in Hokuriku and connect to Tokyo. So we need to connect to the touristic site there. Fine. But I don't really want to come all the way up over we can see the mess of trying to connect that way. So there's going to be enough of a mess coming through this center here, I think. So but that's what we're going to spend our money on. I think, yes, now we will do this. I hope we, yeah, more or less, I think we'll have enough. We won't do a whole lot more. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come here. Let's pick the train station size at first. We'll make sure we will expand. Let's put it up there so we can maybe put a second station this way in time. Try to follow the best path. Here, okay. Um, do we try to come down a little Yeah, or do we come down the river valley? Hmm. Let's see about crossing here. Make this sort of, I guess, a scenic rain route through the mountains. I don't know. We're going to see about tweaking this, whatever we do considerably before we finalize this. Okay, coming out of here, this is a bit of an up and then back down, so we don't need to quite go that high. Uh, that didn't help a whole lot. There we go, a little better there. Come across there like that, We're heading downward. Again, we're heading up a bit here. Let's see if we just see about that, maybe. Let's see about that. We we're down to 4% there. So expensive route to build. Hopefully being, I know there's the jog here, but I think that's maybe a little shorter than coming way down and around that way. Is it that way, but it is a bit round. Okay, let's... See if we can raise this by one. Okay, that's good. Right. Now I'm just going to be patient to get to about 600. There we go. Ready for that. And then the second track. As you can see, I'm a strong believer in two tracks, one each way right from the start now what we also want to do because we want to be able to connect other things okay there matsumoso was growing we'll have to check that out we're going to come from i guess right about here to right about there there we go
There we go. And why is Matsumoto declining? No octopus, no sake, no lump. Other things, but those would be some of the first things. Okay, lumber. Well, okay, they're accepting lumber. We have a uh, sawmill, whatever they're calling it, the game right there. And we're going to prioritize lumber. Okay, you could also use more rock. Well, they're getting decent ice. We're prioritizing lumber, then octopus. That would presumably be near the sea. That's down here. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, we don't have enough for engine. Give it a second here. Go from here to Matsumoto. They do accept octopus at the warehouse already. Let's see if we can fill out. Can't quite fill up a train, but almost full of it. Okay, well, that will help. Huh. Tea, plant fiber, and still sake. Where would we be getting sake from? Down here. So these guys have enough. Well, they have enough sake. They got more than enough. Okay, they're just probably not train carrying it effectively. There we go. Well, let's add another one coming back to Khufu. Well, this shiny new route, no trains running on it yet. Okay, um. Let's put one supply station there. Let's put another one way over here. I think this is you know, something flat-ish here. Wait for this screen to clear out. Okay, from Matsumoto. To Kifu. And uh, from Kifu to Matsumoto, I forget the more sake coming in. And we're also going to come from Kifu to Kifu. Okay, we, yeah, okay, stoker and a conductor. Let's speed you up and see if we can also increase profits from mail. Come over here and do a reciprocal thing. Wow, we've got a lot of trains stacked up here. What is the problem? Oh, oh, it, oh we have an error. That is the problem. That's why they don't have any goods. That's why everything's collapsing here. Okay, Warehouse 9... Um, Okay, they're plant fiber. Where were we getting plant fiber from? Uh, over here. Okay, so that is why we're having a problem. 
Aha. Uh -huh. So we really didn't need so much more train, just train knowing what they're doing. Let's make sure we don't have another air or sitting in here. I don't know if that's my problem or the game's problem somehow. Okay, so that will get everything flowing again to Matsumoto. Hopefully. Because I do need the plant fiber to make the cloth. Mm. Yeah, there's just a big stack of both trains. American Central leaves them all behind, fine. Yes, we're still working to get all the objectives, which again are, you know, touristic site, Tokyo to Kyoto, move a lot of passengers. We also have a pretty good average, but we need to increase the average um, of likability for routes. Okay, let's put a few more signals along this long line here. Make sure everything is flowing well. We're going to clone that frame, and we're going to clone this train. Now, is this going to slow up these hills? Yeah, I don't know. Don't think the cargo is so heavy. I just think we got a steep climb here. Yeah, okay. So, what probably we should do for all of these trains here is jump up to 160. Seven tractive power. Yeah, I don't know if on average it'll be better, but it'll definitely be better for the climb. That's a long route, so the maintenance specialist is good there. And did that also get? There we go. You with those express train types. Yeah, they're using a fair amount of cargo. Um, might. I mean, do we get that the right one? No. Might do better with the mixed ones. And you can definitely play this game with more attention to detail than I am currently. Okay, well, they'll need everything to whatever degree, but, um... Okay, sake, we'll get there. Right, okay, look well, here. So that is our next primary expansion territory. But, uh... Oh, good. No, can't do that yet. Okay. Uh, hmm. Getting near, but there's no point in buying your way into here if you don't have the money to actually expand into it. Have they ever gotten any paint? We don't have any at the moment. So, what are these guys doing for their paint requirements? Okay, they're doing okay. Have they made any paint? Not much, at least currently, but all right. Oh, 
don't think that Matsumoto grows again. It was that error train that was passing everything up there. Okay, well, let's see. Now, he looks... Okay, well, he doesn't like her. So let's swap over for him. There we go. And he likes him, so let's, that's better. I'd rather have a regular sort of track surveyor, but when the time went better than nothing, I guess. Okay, well, now we have the money. Both buy our way into the expansion area and start setting up. Stations and what? Okay, I think I see it here. Right. Let's do that. Let's come out of here. Come up this way. Come over the river there. And we might just tunnel through that. We'll see how that goes. Okay. So we're out there. That we can keep a little bit of the height. Yes. Okay, and Okay, I see what, okay, it's cutting through that there. Okay, so we come to there, we start climbing here. Um, okay, that did that, that got, that's seven degree climb gone. Okay, here is where we are going to um, put a thing like that. Point or whatever you want to call that. Since we have that. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, tunnels are damn expensive. Road cuts are less, but still. We do have that surveyor tunneler guy, but I guess we don't need him unless we're going to really do something weird there. Alright, so I'll come through. Nice cherry blossom bees everywhere. I do like the graphics of this game, and then. Uh, okay, uh, there we well, there I got my tunnel, um, no, let's go back to that, I think a 2% grade all along there would be best, all right, okay, that looks good. Put in this second track. I also like the pole style of the signaling. We're going to talk about the service set up here. And right about here we'll build. Yeah. Hopefully that's a flat enough crack. 
Okay, well, before we go any further, let's see about now that we're here, we're going to grow what we might want to be delivering to there, what this area might need. Um, you know, well, okay, what's way, okay, toy sauce is way back there. Sake is way back there, but we got sake here. We got soy sauce up there, because I was seeing, thought I saw soy somewhere, but not maybe not. Okay, well, maybe not. Um, we have plant fiber over here. We got coal. Do we want to do another steel? I'm not seeing. It's rice. No requirement for the noodle factory. Do we want another noodle factory. What is that? Whatever that is. What is that? Um, cow. We need enough cow in over here for the feet. Um, salt for the paint. Okay, that was cowling. What did we? What did I see? Fire cowling. Oh, miniature factory. Okay, we're not ready for that yet. Silk octopus, soy way up there. That can feed Kanazawa. Oh, well, that's rice right there, too. Right? Let's make sure I'm not rice. Okay, well, I think a noodle factory. What do you think about that? Okay. Um, let's put the noodle factory over there. Somewhat out of the way. We'll get we'll get rice to, to there soon. Get the train, but let's build up a bit more money. Well, we don't have train running. No. Yeah, we're gonna bid on this. Get it. Are you a bit slow? I have already bid. Okay, they're okay, they're, they're heading out. Okay, let's take a look at this castle. All right. Well, not castle. We need a touristic site there. Or we, well, we need a railway station to the touristic site. Mm, that looks like it'd be the best. Well, 
Okay, how does that look, everyone? We come out here around to there. With the arrival of the railway, people yearn for distant places and set off to visit well-known sites representing our culture. Very good. And I was considering coming this way, but I think we'll just come here like this as well. English, hopefully the express will do well. Right. Let me lower that. Trying to work towards passenger satisfaction. Increase here. I think overall I'm making enough money to afford this. Or uh, afford doing this and still um, make money on the railway system here. Here we go. There we go. And hopefully we'll... <laughs> I don't know how well this game sim simulates it, but obviously if it's expensive and you have very few passengers versus cheap and a lot of passengers you might actually be able to make more with cheaper with if more passengers actually 
ride, if enough more ride the rails. I don't know how well this game simulates that. But conceptually that is how it works. Okay. Let's increase that. Let's increase out here. We're going to be putting range through there, I hope to see. Well, I think we're going to end this episode here. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and post your comments, your questions. I'll do my best to answer them. Have fun with your railroads. See you next time for more historical gaming.